Hey guys, it's Brent here from Mavericks and I wanted to share a smoothie recipe with you. Um, not necessarily the smoothie I always make because the one I always make is pretty random. It's just whatever I got in my fridge and whatever I got around I just throw in there. Um, been made fun of a lot by my friends that it's not that uh, uh, tasty. So I'm going to try my attempt at making uh, somewhat healthy and tasty smoothie here uh, for you guys. So. Uh, I don't know what I'll call it, we'll see what gets end up putting in it, but uh, right now we got a banana in there, it's organic, um, I find organic produce uh, for decent prices at a local little mom and pop grocery store, um, try to avoid Whole Foods, uh, other traditional grocery stores often don't have the greatest organic selection or super expensive, same as Whole Foods, Whole Foods has really good quality but it's super expensive, so try to find uh, a local little grocery shop or produce store uh, around you that uh, has organic produce or at least good quality produce, maybe local, uh, for not huge, huge whole, fruit, uh, whole foods prices. So that's sort of step one. Always pretty much put a, a banana in, healthy B vitamins, um, healthy um, just all around fruit and a little bit of good taste and texture to the smoothie, um, a bit of sweetness to it, but in a healthy way. Next, I'm gonna grab some blueberries. So these I get at a at a local farm uh, each summer. We stack up. I stack up usually like 40 pounds of them. Uh, really good prices. Then just put them in these big ziplocs and freeze them all year. Don't ask me how many to, how many to put in. Just put in a bunch. I'm gonna make around two liters of smoothie. So that's about two days worth of smoothie for me. Just to give you a reference point. Um, another staple of pretty much all smoothies I make uh, is some type of dark leafy greens, whether that's spinach or kale or collard greens, um, sometimes bok choy, sometimes Swiss chard. Uh, this time I got some black kale. Um, so we'll put, put maybe that much in. That might be too much for you, for the taste. It's also, keep in mind, this is for two liters of uh, smoothie. I, I like to put a lot of dark leafy greens in, so rinse it a little bit. Pull that in there. Another thing I'll add is just a little bit of uh, Cucumber, it's really hydrating. It's got a lot of, I don't know, I'm assuming pretty good nutrients. Uh, it doesn't add a lot of horrible taste to the smoothie, so um, give that a rinse. Not exactly sure what cucumber does. I think it's alkalizing, alkalizing, so that's always a good thing. Adjust the alkaline acidic balance uh, in your body. Next, I'm gonna add an apple because that's again healthy for you. I don't really like to eat apples just on their own too often, but good bit of sweetener again into the smoothie, just like the banana. Um, good bit of nutrients as well. So it's getting pretty packed here. Um, I think I might add one more item as uh, beets. I'll add about that much of a beet, uh, about a third of a beet, if it was a medium sized beet, something like that. Uh, I don't recommend it uh, in high doses because it can really make the smoothie taste pretty bad. Um, but if you're into that, then I recommend a little bit of it because of the nitrates in the beets actually really help your oxygen saturation of your blood and so that helps on a fitness level. So if you're doing anything cardio wise, working on the gym, doing soccer, doing running, hiking, um, you'll notice, well, you can notice over time a difference in 
your ability just to take on more uh, harder exercise and, and feel stronger because you have more oxygen flowing through your, your blood and your body. So that's why I add a little bit of beet in, um, plus it's full of all sorts of anti antioxidants, just um, full of nutrients. So um, that's the beets. So next we're going to add a few superfoods, but first what I like to do before adding the superfoods with powders is just put some, uh, do a little liquid and do a little blend just to get it blended up a little bit. So I put uh, maybe about half a cup of coconut water in. I really don't know if that's half a cup or not, but a little bit of coconut water so it's filled up to about there with coconut water. Uh, and then I take filtered water and fill the rest up. Um, so that's not adding calories, but it's, you know, making it so it's not thick and chunky. And that's the other thing I love about the Vitamix is it's never really chunky uh, because it blends so powerfully. So um, whatever you're using, um, I, I just like to use a bit of coconut water, a bit of water. Coconut water is great for electrolytes, um, overall nutrition, a bit of sweetness as well. Uh, and then the water just fills it up, makes it a little smoother and, and more liquidy to take it down a little easier. <clears throat> so we'll do an initial quick blend and then we'll add a couple superfoods. So one of my favorite superfoods is goji berries. Um, I'll show you what they look like. Uh, that's what they look like. Uh, they're an awesome superfood because they're an adaptogen and so they naturally balance your stress hormones. Um, so if your hormones are too high, they'll reduce them. If they're too low, they'll raise them. Um, at least according to more Eastern med medicine and ancient sort of Chinese uh, medical wisdom. And uh, again, they're just packed full of nutrients. They're a really good source of protein. They're a complete source of protein. Uh, so goji berries pretty much always go in my smoothie if I have them. Another thing I'll add is spirulina. So it's a, it's a powder, uh, it's an, actually an algae. Uh, and it's, it's a super, super food. Uh, it's also a complete source of protein. Uh, it's a very high percentage of protein, but a really healthy, clean source of it. Um, I've heard ideas that this builds your stem cells in your body. Uh, again, I don't know if that's proven, but um, spirulina is just a, a super food for your whole body. Um, with tons and tons of nutrients and also really healthy for your brain. Uh, the other powder I'll usually add is maca powder. It's maca powder from the high Andes. It's one of the highest growing plants in the world um, and foods that we can eat. So it's uh, another adaptogen um, type of food. So it's really good for stress, really good for energy. That's, that's the thing about these superfoods is that so one of the side effects of maca and goji berries is heightened and sustained energy. So I like that. That's a benefit that I can deal with. And so um, having the effects on your brain, the extra brain horsepower, the extra energy throughout the day, uh, the stress benefits of those foods, that's why I add those. And that's just enabled me to take on a lot more stuff in life, a lot more just work and activities and relationships but at the same time, feel less stressed. So that's why I add all those. So I'll keep it simple with that for now. Um, and we'll blend this up. test of any smoothie video which you never know is real or not because every time someone takes a sip they're just like oh my god it's the best thing ever so I'm gonna try to be honest with you see how this tastes I have no idea how it'll taste see how it is
It's, uh, I think it's drinkable. Uh, I can definitely taste the greens. I think I might have, for the average person, put a little too much uh, kale in, but uh, definitely not the worst smoothie I've ever made. So uh, try that out, guys. Uh, try a variation on that. A real simple one is just some frozen berries, a banana, um, something sweet, something nutritious, maybe some, some dark leafy greens, so there's a little bit, um, some coconut water, water, um, maybe some, some pecans or almonds, uh, and, and a f couple, one or two superfoods just to try those out. So I encourage you to just try that out, you know, adapt this to what you have in your fridge or what you are, are enjoy. Uh, but I encourage you to try to add a couple of those superfoods, whether it's goji berries, hemp seeds, um, spirulina, um, there's uh, such a variety out there these days that we have access to now in North America that uh, really just go into a Whole Foods or a, a health food store and just talk, ask, ask the people there uh, in those departments like, hey, I'm looking for more energy or I'm looking for something for my stress. And that's one of the best ways to learn what, uh, what works for you, what's out there. And just then just try. If it works, do more of it. If it doesn't work, stop doing it if you don't notice a difference. So um, that's just what I want to share with you guys today uh, in this little smoothie recipe video. Uh, and uh, hope that helps. So again, I'm Brent Seal from Mavericks. Check back, uh, share this video, uh, follow us on Facebook at uh, Mavericks Group, and uh, subscribe to these videos on YouTube as well because I'm posting a lot more. We launched a show, Mindset 90. Uh, recently, we're on episode six right now. So check those out, and uh, we'll chat with you soon. Take care.